Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wiseant. I'm answering a question submitted by a student. And this is from calculus. And the area of calculus that this is from is called related rates. So we have a ship A that's west of ship B. And at noon, the initial positions are here and here, but ship A is traveling east at 30 kilometers per hour. So at T hours afternoon, this is where ship A will be, at this location. And ship B is sailing north at 25, so at 25, at uh, T hours, ship B will be at this location. So we're going to do a nice little right triangle here. And what we want, of course, is C, the hypotenuse, which is the distance between two, the two ships, T hours after noon. So now we just have to kind of think about what these lengths are going to be. And this length started originally was uh, 180, but you can see it's T hours later. This length is going to be 180. Uh, I'm supposed to change color. Okay, 180. Minus 30t. And you see that that's. So it was originally they were 180 kilometers apart, but see, ship A is moving to the east at, at that rate of 30. And so 30t is going to tell you how far he's traveled. That's 30t here. And they were originally at 180. So the originally 180 was from all the way here to here. OK. So we know that this, this side, we're going to use Pythagorean theorem. So it's going to be 180 minus 30t squared plus this is b started here. And it's moving north, due north, at 25. And so a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I'm just going to write this, put a square root over it. OK, so that's fairly easy. And. Now all we have to do, this is C of T. This is the length at time T. And what we want, uh, so the initial time was noon, and then uh, it's four hours later. So what we really want is C, C prime of four. That's what we want. So what we'll do is we'll just clean this up a little bit. So you would have to, to clean this up, you would have to foil it out, combine like terms. So you'd have a 180 squared here, minus 2, let's see, 30 times 180. hundred t times 2, yeah, 30, yeah, times 2. So it's 10,002 times, I'll just say 2 times 5400t plus uh, 25 squared, I think, is 625. 625t squared. 
is equal to C of T. And um, so for the square, let's see. So I'll just clean this up. So 625, 625 T squared minus 10,800 plus 180 squared thirty two thousand four hundred is equal to C of T so you're you're in calculus now so I'm going to assume that you can find the first derivative C prime of T you're going to use the chain rule here to find that and then after that you're going to just plug in four to get your answer and you'll be done okay I'm not going to walk you through all this algebra you can finish it on your own you're a calculus student and you should be able to do that um, the hard part here really is uh, just setting it up and it requires you to read the problem very carefully as you make your drawing and uh, once you realize <clears throat> what's happening you can see that Pythagorean theorem is the way to go here okay that's it for this one I'll see you again next time